day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I know that. He but that's survive. but that's what's being taught. That's what I was taught. Right. I was taught that I had to do stuff. Yeah. You but know, I point. was taught so much stuff that was just not scripture. Right. That's called behavior. But what we're talking about is dwelling and abiding in him is what he okay, wants us but to do. We are talking about behavior because we're talking about the fruits of the spirit. And, and that, those are characteristics. Yes, but that's it, behavior. But I'm talking left on the baby. I'm talking about, I'm saying first action is, he said, you can't bear those fruits unless you abide in him. That's Amen. And I agree with you 100%. So that, that's what he's focusing on. If you abide in me, the bad products are, is the fruit of the spirit. Amen. But so the question becomes, so is, is Christ unforgiveness? Yeah. Does Christ abide in unforgiveness? So if I have unforgiveness in me, am I abiding in Christ? Exactly. The, the, the beauty of, of, the, of the thing is where we're at right now is that we don't have to sacrifice animals anymore or nope. shed blood. He said, if I confess my sin, that he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. In the other place, the, 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 okay, the writer so says- isn't that a, a one-time thing? No. I mean, how can you be made righteous and then be unrighteous? Well, but, it's but behavior not, again. I don't get it. No, no, uh, yeah. what you guys are saying is 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 I I, I don't understand. Let's, no, let's how... bring it down. Let's bring it down. You are under the dispensation of grace. Okay. Right? Paul yes. said, "Don't don't don't take my grace for an opportunity to sin." That's right. right. But but understand, you have that grace to to cleanse and continue to cleanse you of your sin. But if you don't forgive somebody else, you, okay, you can't. So I can't even receive that because you're saying to you continue to forgive it. me of my sin. I thought yes. that he said you. He said he got. That's what he just said. He said if you, if he, you saying if, if, first of all, I like the scripture said, give us this day, right? This day. Yeah. So he's talking about forgive us of our sin or trespasses, right? He, that's the prayer said, right? The prayer is saying, Father, give me this day our daily bread and forgive me of my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. Okay. And then the scripture said, if you do not forgive others what I have given you, then I can't forgive you because you won't forgive. Other words, I have. It's like this. It's like this. It's like. But well, then you're saying that God will leave you and forsake you. God, yes, you, he will. said you leave him and forsake you. Yeah, yeah, you, you break life. You leave and forsake him, not yeah. him. It, it'll be, it'll be your move. It won't be his. It won't be his. It's you. Right, you better be plugged into. You just, I think you just. Okay, so you're saying you if, if you walk away. No, I'm not talking about walking away. You, you're well, saying that forget. if, if. If if I don't forgive, uh, then God's going to leave me and and forsake. Me. Yeah, you're going to forsake. You're the one that forsake. That's me. not that's not what that, that's two separate things. Well, let's read the scripture again on it. Let's make sure we got it. What does it say? But, I mean, you're 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 with your you're you're to me. You're saying that the Bible is contradicting itself. No, I think I'm saying can. that it's not. I'm saying that this is prior. You saying prior. And I'm saying this said, is prior to to the redemptive work on the cross. Everything where, where, Jesus where? said did not apply to us in this dispensation because this dispensation did not happen what, until what? after he died what, and was did, resurrected. Did the scripture but, say John confess your false one to another? Say that again. Did it, didn't it, didn't it, didn't John say confess your faults one to another? Yeah. And, 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 and I think, Elder, is there more forgiveness in there and some other scriptures? Oh, yeah. yeah quite a bit. After Christ had passed, after Christ had passed away, and Paul and, 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 and Peter and all of them dealt with us, the importance of forgiving others. Yeah. Because love, was love, it, I love. thought it was the importance of not trying to hold uh, the law. 
no. to 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 uh, people who weren't uh, who were Gentiles. Who were Gentiles? He told me he said love one another. So how can you love somebody and not forgive? Them? I'm trying to understand that. How can you have unforgiveness of somebody you love? Well, forgiveness isn't an instantaneous thing. Yeah, but but it is still a, a process, right? That you do go yeah, through. Yeah, there's a process. So you're saying if 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 somebody did something to me that somebody did something to somebody in my family. Okay. And at that moment, I, I just couldn't forgive them for that. And then I died the, 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 an hour later. I'm not going to heaven because I didn't forgive. That yeah. that, that blows my mind. That, that's yeah, like, it, you know, that, I'm that's like saying, saying that if you sin and you don't ask God to forgive you of yeah. that sin and you die, you're going to hell. I, I don't get any of that. I think I think the scripture is saying is more focused not so much of you asking for forgiveness, but that you forgive, you ask for forgiveness as you forgive others. So the question is, if you die in unforgiveness, are you saying that you, and you have hate in your heart within an hour? Does the grace and mercy of God not deal with that? Because that, that's what I'm Not saying. Not according to what you're saying. Well, let's go. I ain't saying nothing. I'm saying what the scripture said. Let's go read it again. <laughs> don't, don't hold me. Don't, don't hold me at nothing. <laughs> okay, but you, 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 we have to keep this in its Content. dispensation because yes, we're talking, we're talking pre grace and post grace. Well, you, you know, John, the one you was reading in John. We're talking law and then we're talking grace. You talking this about talk, is, if gave, it's in, in red, he gave you most of what Jesus is saying is based on the law. Let's go, let's go with, let's go, first of all, the scripture has said. And if I'm wrong, please, please help me. Yeah, well, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with, understand I'm going to go with the scripture says, because he left us as an instruction, not as a law, but as an instruction. He said, when we get with all this part of it, don't be standing in the center of God to be seen by me in the brain. Go to your father in private, secretly, right? Into the closet, right? Don't do a lot of words and repetitions that he just do. He said that. That's in verse 7. He said, but be not there for lack of them, for your father knows what things you have need of before you ask him. He said, verse 9, after this matter, therefore pray me. Our father, because he's telling you to pray to the father, right? Which are in heaven, hollow be thy name. He said, that kingdom come. That what Christ said, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, if, if, if whatever was happening in the Old Testament in heaven is still happening in heaven. All right? There's no, there was no laws in heaven. This is what happens in heaven. So he said that will be done in earth, in my life, on this earth, as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, which consists not only just physical substance, but the word of God. That doesn't change. Just because Jesus, just because that was in the Old Testament, and Jesus died on the it's, cross, it's, it's, I need this bread. I need this word. I mean, does this situation change right here about giving us this day our daily bread? No, I'm saying that he, he this is happening. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, what I'm asking, so we put it in the balance, and that's a good, valid question you're asking. I'm saying is, is the give us this day our daily bread only applies for the Old Testament, or does it apply today? That can go both ways. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is God has placed his word in our heart. So our he heart. has gave given us his word. And he said, give us the word you need that word daily, right? Yes, but if it's in my heart, it's you, with me daily. It, are you saying you the just to live by faith? Faith is the substance things hoped for, the ever the things not seen. Amen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Yes. That implies a continuous process, not a yes. one-time deal. Yes. Right? And that's why a babe, if a babe, a babe gets saved by the word, 
But a babe is supposed to be moved from milk to meat to yes. grow. Yes. So therefore, I need this daily. This is a daily thing I need. Yes. To grow. I agree. All right. So that hasn't. That means first, what's going on in heaven has not changed either, right? Now, unless you're trying to say the things in heaven is no longer operating in the New Testament as it did in the Old Testament in heaven. That's why I'm saying when you say that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Okay. That still so stays the his same. His will is being done in earth through us as, is as it heaven. is in heaven. So all the words, so that's that's to change it, right? I, Cause I'm just I'm, I'm just that hasn't changed it, right? Cause that's what we're talking. About. I'm gonna go to each of these elements where you had the impression that this is old dispensation. No, I never talking. said this was old dispensation. Well, what I said is what? this has been this prayer has been answered, and that we're living this prayer. Right. I'm not oh. saying this is Old Testament. I'm saying this prayer, this, this I, I, I put you, I put prayer you, I think I has manifested right. when Christ had died on the cross right. and when he was risen okay. and when the paraclete came. But that's are what you, I'm saying. You, okay, and I'm trying to, that's why we talked earlier at the beginning of what were you saying. It is, is in heaven still going on today. You say yes, correct? Yes. Okay, and you also. But that's not that, what that statement is saying. It says that kingdom says come. That will be done. He says that, that will be done, be done in earth. earth as it is. In, so his will is not being done in earth. But that's what he said. That's what he said. When you pray, you pray for the kingdom, his kingdom, in you. The kingdom doesn't come by observation. It comes in you, right? The kingdom of heaven is within you, right? Yes. Okay, the kingdom has come in you. That is a past tense, right? So the kingdom has come. That will be done in earth, which is where you are, as it is where? In heaven. Yes. So that still applies. Yes. And I'm going to go back. What I'm doing, I'm going each line and say, why do you think something doesn't apply anymore? That's what I we're going to go to. said that this I doesn't know, apply anymore. Yes, yes, you did. No, I did not. Well, what not, I said was what you said. What you that said. this has been answered. So, so, is what so, I said. Okay. So I never so, said that this. Well, you implied that because we're going to the word you had a problem with. This one right here, for verse twelve, where does you say this does you say this does not apply? Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debt towards you. Indicated earlier, Elvin, did he not? I, I, maybe I misunderstood. Yeah, no, I did say that our debts has been forgiven. And, and therefore, does this one say, as we forgive our debt towards? Yes, it does. So does that mean I have to forgive my debt towards, right? For my, I have to forgive my debtors for Jesus Christ's redemptive work to actually be done? Is that's that what, what you're saying? I'm saying that's what that scripture's saying. Yeah. I, I, so yeah. then, that word don't apply, you don't forget, you don't have to give for my debt? Pardon? You don't have to forgive anybody's debt or transgressors? I never said I did it. Well, I mean, do you have to? But I'm just saying, but you're saying if I don't, That's what then you're, you're saying. saying that I'm leaving God? Uh, you, you, I'm saying, you. He, let me say he called you a disciple. Let me say to abide in him, right? If you abide in him, then you give willingly to give others their debts. You willingly do. Yeah, but I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying if i die before i do that and i didn't forgive something right then well you got grace you're under grace then, you're under grace you're under grace I, see, oh I, man you got I, me I, all messed up now what what's the purpose of grace what's the purpose of grace yes sir what is the purpose of a grace of grace Grace is to not impute something to you. Yes, sir. Exactly. So if you died an hour, 50 minutes, 20 minutes, two days, five days with unforgiveness in your heart because you just hadn't arrived to that point yet, I okay, think the so... grace of God will cover you. But if you keep there and, re and just stay in unforgiveness, I think you may have some concerns that you have to work on because you, if you, matter of fact, remember you and I did in the, in the uh, 
Baldwin State Prison. Unforgiveness is like renting a movie out of, of uh, Redbox and you keep playing that stupid movie over and over again and you're paying the penalty for the, the uh, that, that video because you're supposed to turn it in. You had a one day rental and you decided to keep, you decided to keep it. So okay. as long as you keep it, it's gonna keep on charging you for it, right? Right? 